Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to create a .gts file and a .micro file from a single model. As you saw in my last video, most of the effort in creating one of these models is setting up the textures to look properly. We don't want to duplicate all the effort we spent creating these materials for the .gts file. So what I'm going to do is copy them from the .gts to the micro folder. To do this, I'll open up an explorer window and take this materials folder and I'm just going to copy it from the GTS to the micro. It does copy all the textures, which are not going to be necessary, but that's fine. And um, then Unity will recognize all of the materials properly. That means that we are ready to import our horse model. So I've created this guy, and I'm going to run the Mechanim importer. And we'll put him in the world, and it looks like he has. Uh, it looks like Unity has detected the te all the textures properly, except his hooves are a different color, and that is because it looks like someone has renamed his the texture on the hooves from hooves to hooves two, and you can tell that because Unity is going to automatically generate an MMD lit texture for everything and that is going to correspond to the name in the uh, format. So if it can't find something with a proper name and it was looking for something with 6.host2, it's going to create a default one. So in order to get it to use the proper name, I'm just going to copy the, prop the correct name, delete this texture, and then rename the old one to host2. And there is probably a way to set this up by you know editing this model itself, but I think it's faster to just go and redo the import. Um, and when it redoes the import, again, it does a name lookup. So once I've renamed it, it connects the host texture properly. And that that um, is really all you need to do. That's uh, how you save yourself from having to redo texture creation when you do a .gts and a .micro. And also, if someone has renamed textures or added different textures and the numbering changed, like if it were six and you know it's, if it changed to seven, um, all you need to do is rename things in this materials file. And so to do our export, all we need to do is uh, click on this guy, change our animation type to humanoid, apply, and then go to export and export it into the uh, .micro folder. So here's our result and we can rename that, put it in the size box folder, and then we're ready to play with them. So I hope that you guys found that useful and have fun.